starting off with a clean, moisturized face and tying my hair back, I like to go straight in with some sunscreen. The one I use is by Garnier. Then, I like to color correct my dark eye bags. I mix the orange and yellow concealers from LA Girl Cosmetics to get the right peachy shade for my skin tone. And this is what it looks like when both under eyes are corrected. Next is foundation. I use a serum foundation. Sometimes I'll use it on its own or I'll mix in some glow liquid like I did today. I dot it evenly around my face and then blend it with a damp sponge. Now on to concealer and powder. Since I like my foundation to be lightweight, I gotta go in with a creamier concealer to give me better coverage for discoloration and blemishes. I follow very similar steps to the foundation application, dotting the concealer and then blending with a damp sponge. Only difference is I have my under eye brush loaded with powder before blending the under eye area so I can set the wet concealer immediately before it has a chance to settle into the fine lines. After that, I just lightly powder the rest of my face. Time to add some dimension. Uh, with bronzer, starting with my nose contour. I like to place my lines closer together to give the illusion of a nose with a higher bridge. I'm deepening the eye sockets as well as extending the shadows upwards to give my eyes a lifted appearance. Using the same brush I used for my nose contour, I like to hug my bottom lash line and apply bronzer there too so that my eyeshadows always maintain a balance between top and bottom. And after letting my nose contour sit for a minute, I'll blend the lines in with my sponge. Lastly, I'm adding bronzer to the hollows of my cheeks. Whatever's left over gets a light brush on the jaw, and a light dusting goes on the outer forehead area too. For brows, I use this brow pencil from Revolution. I used to use Anastasia's dip brow, but it just took so much longer. This pencil does the job quickly. I just follow the natural shape of my brow, filling the gaps and trying to shape my brow to look a little bit fuller. For eyeshadow, I'm applying a light brown shade with gold flecks all over the mobile lid. making sure to apply a little bit to my bottom lash line too. Then, I blend it into my crease color. To tie the eye look together, I apply eyeliner, trying to follow the upward shadow I already created. These days, I prefer brown eyeliners as they're a little less striking than black eyeliner. I own the Stila brown eyeliner, and this Kiko one is a pretty decent dupe at almost a third of the price because it's also waterproof. And sorry, but I don't usually touch my lashes. They're short and straight and don't take well to mascara. If I do use mascara, my thick eyeliner usually covers my lashes anyway. Isn't this the cutest sloth bag? It's where I keep my blush. Today I opted for a coral shade. I love blush and I put a lot of it on. I like to apply it all over my cheekbones, the apples in my cheeks, a little bit on my nose, just a little bit everywhere.
For lips, I apply a lip liner to outline the shape and then a tinted lip balm afterwards. I stopped wearing lipsticks a long time ago. I just need moisturization in my life. For the finishing touch, I'm applying highlighter. Roughly, this will take me about 15 to 20 minutes to do in the morning. And that's it. Thanks for watching.